Calvin Jones here, Park Tool Company with Tech Tuesday. We're here in this video to compare and contrast two different Schwinn Paramonts. This is a 1973 Schwinn Paramont, similar but yet different from this earlier 1964 Schwinn Paramont. This one belonged to our founder, Howard Hawkins. Howard purchased this bike from his own shop, Hazel Park Schwinn. That's actually where the name came from, Hazel Park. He purchased a black P10 Schwinn Paramount, the top bike of its day. His partner, Art Engstrom, purchased a white Schwinn Paramount. They could tell him apart. Howard was a true enthusiast and a tinkerer, and he loved this bike and wanted to keep riding it and did for over 50 years. Let's have a look at some of the things you might do to keep going. Originally, of course, the racer would have had the down tube shifters, reaching down for it to make your shift. Nice for a young guy, but as you age, you want to come more upright. Replacing these levers with the index shifter, the early Sax models. The transition that would occur after this is getting rid of the drop bars entirely, going to the flat bar. In addition, a taller stem. So now we are quite a bit up. We have the index shifting, much more comfortable position as we go through life. The next change that Howard would have made would be to get rid of this five-speed freewheel. He was gonna go up with the modern seven-speed freewheel. Also, the early Campy records would not be an index shifting. So Howard would go with the Saks New Success index shifter. Notice the rims. This would have been an upgrade. We went from the Weinman, Weinman rim, very strong, heavy rim, to a lighter, hard anodized rim. The Schwinn of this era represented the finest in craftsmanship. Nervex lugs, nicely hand carved, pinstriping all around the lugs. And another change that would have occurred, going from a full toe strap and clip Howard would have moved to the half clip, easier to get in and out of. Another clear difference from the earlier versions, of course, the racks. Carrying what you want, being comfortable, carrying clothes. And of course, the seat. He went with the short padded one here, and then an upgrade, of course, to the brakes. Came originally with Weinman center poles, changed to the Grand Comp side poles. When I look at this bike, I think of Howard Hawkins, a true tinkerer, a true enthusiast that rode the bike that he loved for over 50 years.